Hello, Bill Molino here for Bill's History World with Goober the Traveling Bear. And we're in Gloucester, Virginia, and I've had several people say you need to stop and see the blacksmith. So we're going to go inside, and I've been told the blacksmith here in this shop is quite famous. They've been on TV several times, they've won several awards, and we're going to see um, if they'll let us make a video. And uh, hopefully Goober and I will have a nice video when we're all done. Thank you, everyone. Hello, Bill Molino here for Bill's History World. And we're at the blacksmith shop in Gloucester, Virginia. And kind enough, the blacksmith here said he'd let me video him for a moment. Uh, thank you, sir. And what are we working on? So today we're going to make a leaf. And uh, one of the things we make here at the Bill's Blacksmith is uh, hand forged leaves. We make pendants out of them, make little Harry Potter wands with leaves built into them, and they also make hand forged steel roses that incorporate leaves. So we got to get fast at making them. So let me show you the process. This is an induction forge. It's used to heat the metal. It uses magnetic induction to heat the steel. So I'm not actually touching those coils. It's the fastest way I can get something hot. And we're going to make a leaf in one heat. One of the skills that a blacksmith does is called drawing, where you put a tape on the steel. The term long drawn out process comes from the blacksmith. Wow. A leaf in one heat. That's amazing. Now we can take that and uh, do a little bit more work and make one of our pendants. So we'll, from this stage, we'll either weld them onto our rose stems, or we'll draw it out, the other end out, and we'll make it into one of our pendants. So what we're going to do right here is just refine the point.
bit more texture. I'm going to edit some audio over this while Mr. George Kramer, our blacksmith, who's quite famous, um, his uh, biography is he's the village blacksmith in Boston, Virginia. Though blacksmith refers to artisans who did metalwork in the past, George considers himself a metal manipulator. This covers a broad range of metal woodwork, wood metal working skills like cutting, heating, welding, bending, forming and creating original designs, designs with plasma cutting, art commissions, restoration, retrofitting. He works with ferrous and non-ferrous metals using the following skills. Inducting heating, forge, TIG, MIG, stick welding, brazing, and metal coloring, patina, metal decor, and much more. He also offers blacksmithing classes and much, much more. Please uh, visit at 6641 Gloucester Street and visit George the Blacksmith. George invites you to come and visit his showroom and blacksmithing shop. You can see some of the results that through mental manipulation, bring me your metalworking ideas and I will try to solve them for you, says George.
So does that give it the impression it's made out of brass? There's the finished product, and that took 10 minutes and 33 seconds. Amazing. So this is a, a leaf pendant that we sell here at the shop. And a leaf in a lot of cultures is a symbol for hope and growth. So we want a lot of hope and growth around here. All right. Well, thank you very much. What are your hours for people to come in and get something worked on or uh, purchase something? Normally, we're here uh, uh, 9.30 to about... 5:30 most days. All right. Um, and if there's any questions, just give us a call. And, um, we are running around a lot, so sometimes we we can meet you here, or sometimes we're out on the road selling stuff. But we're doing installs. But all right. Well, thank you very much. And it's the Village Blacks Blacksmith, Gloucester, Virginia. And I'll have the business card information at the end of the video. Stay safe. Be kind and be courteous, everyone. Thank you, sir. Well, here's the hand forged jewelry, and here's the pendant that Goober received. And they have a lot of nifty things for sale in their shop, and they also sell their wares at market fairs. They've won many awards, and look at this Chamber of Commerce 2016, and they also have their products online. All right. Um, looks like you have a lot of awards here. Uh, well, we've, we've been in a, quite a few magazines, publications. We were also on National Geographic Channel. And down here, it's just a little uh, showcase of, of the filming process. We were required to do recreate what's called the hot shot from the Revolutionary War. And uh, basically, they, they heated up a cannonball to what's glowing hot, shot it at Cornwallis' largest ship, the HMS Caron, and uh, it was sunk the ship, it caught it on fire. And so, our task for National Geographic Channel was to heat up a cannonball, drop it through sail material to test the theory would this actually work? And not only did it work, is it melted my, uh, my sawhorses. So they, they, they reimbursed me for a fire extinguisher and two sawhorses. <laughs> two sawhorses. And uh, we've also been on uh, Discovery Channel, a show called Master of Arms. It's a competition-based weapons building show. And I see a shirt up here on the wall. What is that? Yeah, so we didn't really get to keep our weapons from the show. So I'm like, well, i got to bring something back. So I, the shirt that I wore on the show, uh, I had to wear the same shirt for six days in a row uh, because of continuity of filming purposes. And so the, the high proximity, the sparks and grinding and heat kind of burned a hole in the shirt. So I'm like, I'm saving that. And, wow. Uh, this little right up there. We ended up winning uh, $10,000. We built a crossbow and a steel bow, which is pictured over there to the right. Okay. Wow, it's an amazing little shop you have here. And everyone in Gloucester, as I make my videos with Goober the Channel and Bear, says you got to make a video of the blacksmith shop. And I can see why. Thank you very much for your time. Well, thank you, Mr. George Kramer, the village blacksmith of Gloucester, Virginia, for having a sense of humor with Goober the Traveling Bear and I. And we really enjoyed learning all about blacksmithing from you. And we hope in the future, maybe we can make another video. There is so much going on in your shop. 
from everything from trophies and awards to cannons, cannonballs. Um, I could have spent a day uh, making videos of everything you have. And then on top of it, you have a wonderful showroom. So the Village Blacksmith, Gloucester, Virginia, you have to stop and visit them. And George, um, thank you again for the time that you took to help me make this video. Thank you again. Stay safe, be kind, and be courteous, everyone.